Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lori. If you're new here, I talk all about petite style and sometimes struggle. So. I'm so excited to do this video because I get to talk about my favorite thing, which is shoes. I'll be going through some of my favorites for fall and winter, some not so favorite, and if you are a petite gal or a short gal like me, stick around because I have some great options for you to add a little bit of height without sacrificing comfort. So let's get into it. I had no idea how much I would love these boots. They have become my go-to, especially on the weekend when I'm in jeans, I'm casual, I want a little bit of height without sacrificing comfort. They have a about a two inch lug sole on them. They are perfect because I get height, but I'm comfortable and I can stand in them all day. These are from Steve Madden. I purchased them for around $99. Um, they come in many, many variations and styles and brands, different heel heights. Now, I did read online when I purchased these in the reviews that some people found them difficult to get on and off because they are a slip-on. So if that's something that might be a concern to you, you might want to look for a style that has a zippered open and closure. I pair these with every style of jean I own, except for skinny. Um, they go great with boot cut, they go great with flares, they go great with straight leg. I absolutely love these. These are a staple in my closet. Love, love, love these. So this next shoe is similar to the last one. It is another lug sole boot um, in tan. These are from Dolce Vita. I believe I purchased them for about $99. I did see them on sale recently. Um, I'll put everything down in the description box for you guys if you're interested in checking any of these out. I did not think I would love these, but I absolutely love them. When I think of footwear, I'm usually thinking dark blacks or dark browns. Um, so I wasn't sure when I purchased these, but I love them. Um, especially with jeans and maybe like a lighter colored top and cardigan. They are wonderful. And again, they give you height without sacrificing comfort. And I wear these with straight leg. I've worn these with flares. I've worn these with boot cut. Perfect for the weekend. I love these. The next style I'm going to show you is another favorite. And I will tell you, when I saw these online, I did not think I was going to like them and it took me a minute to come around and now I love them. They are the loafer from Sam Edelman. They have a lug sole heel and you would think that these would not be flexible when you walk, but they are and they are so comfortable. I love them so much that I have them in black and a tan color. I've paired them with jeans, I've paired them with black pants. They're wonderful. And again, you get a little height without sacrificing comfort. There's many, many variations of this loafer online, all at different price points, different styles, different brands. Some are not so chunky if that's not your style. The next shoe I'm gonna show you Beja. I have actually two pairs. I have a white pair and then I got this pair which I have paired with a silk skirt from Quince that I've shown to you guys before. I've paired them with jeans. They can transition into summer. Love these and again maybe a little bit of height here. They are comfortable. They are stylish. They go with just about everything. I paid around $150 for these. There's many, many great dupes. I'll try to find some and link them below. If you are going to invest in a higher end sneaker, I would suggest taking a look at these. They have tons of different styles, tons of different color variations, a lot of options with Veja. The next style I'm gonna show you is an ankle booty that was recommended by another influencer on YouTube. It is the Mark Fisher ankle booty. I purchased these for around, again, $99. Um, they are fantastic. And they have a little bit more of a sleeker block heel. So they are more comfortable to walk in. I've paired these, of course, with jeans 
but also skirts, dresses, dress pants. They really do go with just about everything. And it's just a classic and a staple to have in your closet. I see having them for many seasons. The next boot I'm gonna show you is another staple in my closet. It's similar to the black booty, except it has a sleeker heel on it. It does have a zip closure. These are from Steve Madden. I love pairing an all cream outfit with these. I've worn them with skirts dresses, dress pants, jeans. These are perfect. The next shoe I'm gonna show you is a pair by Vince Camuto. I hope I said that right. <laughs> These are a pointy toe block heel. They have a little bit of a Western flair to them, but I love them because they give me height and I can stay comfortable. Just a great staple to have in your closet. Can't have too many black booties. The next shoe I am going to show you is a knockoff of a Chanel. Um, it is the two-toned slingback heel. And it's just a little bit of a heel, but it gives a little bit of height without making you uncomfortable. And I just love the two-tone. I wear these a lot for work. They look expensive on, they're not. These are from the Journey collection. I believe I paid about $60 for them and I absolutely love them. I think they are so sophisticated looking and go with everything. These look great with jeans too. This is a really great dupe for the two-toned Chanel flat. So now I'm going to share with you some of my not so favorites. And the first pair, I don't even have to show you because they went back. They are a pair of Golden Goose sneaker. They are the style, yeah. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I got these as a gift from my husband. I was very, very, very excited about them until I tried them on. The sizing was really off, so they felt just a little bit too small for me. That in itself I could get over because I could trade them for a, a different size. What I found though was these are so stiff, they do not bend or have flexibility and they were just really, really, really uncomfortable. Those went back. I did end up getting a pair to replace them and I really actually do love them. However, do I think the price tag is worth the product? No, there's too many great dupes on the market that look exactly like it are very similar and that are probably more comfortable. So although I love the style of them, I don't recommend spending that much money for a pair of sneakers. But if you do, I would not get the Yeah style. The next shoe that was kind of a fail for me was a flat slingback from Mango. And I love these shoes. They are so pretty and when I saw them online, I had to have them and then I got them. And again, the sizing was off. The toe of the shoe is very long and the shoe is mesh. So this was a no-go for me, especially in the winter time. I thought I might wear them, you know, to some parties or holiday events but these went back to the store. They the next shoe that was kind of a fail for me, or not kind of, but was a fail for me, was a heel by JLo. Now, I purchased these, and it's not gonna show up really well on camera, but they are so cute and so pretty. And I was thinking that I would use these for holiday parties and events, but the sizing is off on these. They did not fit me well. I had to put heel pads in them just to try to make them work. And at the end of the day, they just were not comfortable to walk in. I didn't return these because they are so pretty. I don't know, maybe I'll try to make them work in the future, but they just did not initially work for me. So we'll see. Thank you for being here. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy petite style content. I hope to see you next time. Take care.